Hi, welcome to Global Group Fitness. I'm Lincoln Stewart. We're about to start body stride workout number one. All you need for this program is an elliptical trainer or a cross trainer. It doesn't matter which one. We're after two different parts on them. One is a stationary bar in which you can hand on to, so a handle that's going to support your body and will stop you falling off. The second is moving parts and they're the poles. And these, we'll use these to come to the upper body where we can work from the waist up. I want you to come onto your machine for me. We've got three gears in this workout. The first gear, we wind up or put enough weight through your legs so you can just feel a bit of a push or a bit of resistance through your legs. The second gear is a medium gear and we give a couple more turns or winds or a push of your, your digital button, it doesn't matter which. And that should be a gear that is not sustainable for a long period of time, a long period being three to five minutes. You should eventually fatigue in that gear. It should be easy enough to hold for a short term, but long or hard to hold for a longer term. When we come to a big gear, we give lots of weight through our legs. So wind up, gear up, push up, doesn't matter. So that it's very hard to get your legs going from a stationary position. So if I was to roll my legs over, and maintain momentum, then I can feel the weight, but I can hold it. But if I was to stop my legs and push, it should be really hard to get them going. That's your big gear. For now, we're gonna come down to an easy gear for our warm up. So five different positions in this workout. I want you to take note of all of them. If you can't do any because of injury, fitness, then don't do them and leave them out and come back to the poles, bars, or running. It's up to you. Easy gear, let's make a start. Straight on the beat. So the beat of the music is always the pace of your legs. I want you to come onto your stationary bar. We're gonna call this the march. Open grip so your hands are nice and wide, body weight side to side. Good, tall posture. I want you to lift your heels up and down, nice and tall. Front grip, elbows tight, we're gonna take a squat position. Down, this is called your hover. Your hover is your squat. When we hover, I don't want you swinging off the bars. I want all your weight through your heels and it's supported through your legs. So at any point during the hover, if you let go, you don't fall back. Once you've got the hover and you're down low, try not to shift your hips from side to side. So stabilize your torso. Still on the bars. We're gonna come up to running and we pump our arms with the jog. Boom, boom. Body stride is an upper and lower body workout. So when we do anything with our upper body, I want you to exaggerate the movements so that we burn lots of calories. Keep running. Looking good. You should be pretty comfortable here. We come here to recover a lot. We're about to go to the poles. When we do, thumbs on top. So here, thumbs on top. Upper body takes over. Relax your lower body. It's hard to do because your legs are more powerful than your arms. And you naturally want your legs to take over. But we're going to focus on upstairs and push and pull. Stay with the poles. Try not to throw too much around. I don't want you shifting around on here. I just want the shoulder rotation. Twenty-seven minute workout, six working tracks, including the warm up and cool down. It's an express workout. It works. It burns loads of calories. Hands forward. Lock your arms out. Shift your body weight down. Triathlon position. Think cycling. Drop and roll. Boom, boom. So we're still on beat here, but when we come to the triathlon track later. It's gonna be the track that this position we sprint on and we max out your heart rate. It's gonna be hard to hold. For now, try not to wobble from side to side. Stabilize your hips, stabilize your torso. Your back is 45 degree angle from your hips. Everything is locked out straight. Your arms are straight. Nice work. Warm up over. Couple of big turns, wind your gears up, turn your gears up. Straight away, march it out. Our first working track is our running track. Looking good, just build momentum. 
always on the beat. Boom, boom, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like a sparrow with broken wings, but now I shine with your reflection on me. We're going to come to an easy job, just nice and relaxed before we wind up. So make sure you just customize your body and your gears and really feel your machine out so you don't topple off the side. One hand onto the machine, other hand, reach down, wind up. So we're gonna wind up a fair few times here because we're about to load our legs. So what I want is a medium to hard gear so that keep winding, so that it should be hard to hold momentum. One more turn, let's run. Boom, boom, 30 second round. So I'm throwing my body weight from side to side. And if I was to stop my legs now, it would be pretty hard to get them going again. So there's enough weight for my legs to make this work. Good, eight seconds. One big turn, take it down, back down. March it out, relax. High heels, lift your feet, your toes stay on the platforms. Body stride workout number one. Here we are, we've finally made it. Express workout. There's a lot of science behind express workouts and why they work. Reach down, wind up. One big turn, should be starting to slow your legs, but stay on beat, so you've got to work harder to hold the pace. One more turn, little one, just put it on. So pull through the bars if you have to to help drive your legs forward. So your legs are loaded, we're about to run for 60 seconds, sorry, for 30 seconds. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Pump your arms. Running track, nearly over. Your next track, we sprint, is the triathlon track. You should still be comfortable here. Your heart rate should have climbed though. You should definitely be warm. Nice. Wind down to your medium gear. Easy to medium. I don't want much weight through your legs. We're about to sprint as fast as you can. Faster than the beat is your maximum speed. So, we got four rounds. We march, we drop to a slow triathlon, and then we sprint. So remember triathlon, hands all the way forward, lock them out and we drop down until your body brings your elbows to the bars. Get ready. So slow triathlon, down, raise, sprint. So we are now after your maximum speed for 30 seconds. See how still my body is? Nothing's wobbling, that's where I want you to be. Strong posture, strong core, and stabilize. Your heart rate should be climbing. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, hold. Come up tall, lift your heels really high. Super slow, super slow. We start again. Round two, hands forward, slow triathlon on the beat. Boom, boom. Your next sprint, it's long, it's 45 seconds. At the end of this round, you should need air more than water. You should be breathless. Let's go.
Everything about your technique matters right now. So as you fatigue, the first thing that goes is technique. I need you to stay strong right now. Your legs are burning. You feel like you want to stand up. Stay down, stay with me. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Nice work. Take a turn off if you need to. I need to. My legs are burning. Slow triathlon. Ready. Hands forward. 30 seconds, sorry, 20 more seconds. Set the triathlon up though. Triathlon, on beat, it's slow, drop, grab it. Boom, 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 boom. We have two more sprints. This one is only 30 seconds. The next one is 45. 30 second round, build, go. Halfway. Your legs should be on fire and your heart rate should be climbing. Four, three, two, hold. Super slow. Nice work. Your heart rate is high. Slow try. Grab the beat. Boom, boom, boom. This is the last round, I promise. Express workout. The workout's quick. That means you have to work hard. Four, three, two, sprint. 45 second round, it's gonna hurt. There's a reason you press play, and this is why. To get fitter, to get stronger, to be healthier. 30 seconds left. Stay strong through your posture. Try not to wobble. 15 left. Go, go, go. Ten seconds. Ha! Four, three. Two, hold, walk, walk, walk. 15 second walk, then we're done. Looking good. Next track is your hover track. So, medium to hard gear. The pace is slow, yeah? So I want your legs to work a little bit harder than normal to hold this gear, to hold this pace. Get ready to hover, so remember, elbows into your rib cage, hands to the front of your bar, drop, hover, boom, 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 boom. No faster. If you're going faster than me, then you need to turn your gears up. We've got two levels in this hover. This is level one. We're about to drop a little bit lower. 15 seconds here, 30 down below. Drop. We don't have a very long break in between these hover sets. It's just we pop up, couple of steps, loosen your legs, make sure you keep wheeling your toes and then we drop straight back down to hover. You got 15 seconds, then we stand. So the stand is for three to four seconds, that's it, before you drop straight back down. Ready? 
walk, drop, level one. So not right down the bottom. Crowd chest. I want you to practice something. Let go. If you fell back, then you're hanging on too much. I want your weight through your heels. Straight torso and you sit straight down. If you don't know how to hopper, or you're not sure what I mean, come to level two, lower. If you're not sure what I mean, come off the bars, bring your hands to your shoulders, and now you should feel your legs are loaded. Hold. 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 We've got a 15 second march. Go. Should be comfortable. 15 seconds, level one, coming up. I want you to sit lower. Both levels are lower than before. Front grip, elbows, drop. Boom, boom, boom. We're strong and we're super still. Try not, as you fatigue, to arch your back, yeah? Give me a straight spine. Pull your belly button through to your spine. Level two, drop it down, boom. Stay down, don't slowly come up, stay with me. Halfway, 15 left. I'm not hanging on, you shouldn't be either. Up, march. Nice work. You just spent 30 seconds down at a level two. Strong. Ready to go again, last round. Wiggle, wiggle your toes. Level one, drop. Do not drop this pace. This pace is to make you work with me and to push us to the top together. Boom, 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 boom. We're not on the poles, we're not on the bars, it's all through the legs. Walk. Nice. I want you to give me the biggest gear that you've given me in this session. This is your last working track. Wind up, wind up until <coughs> you almost cannot. I can't move my legs, yeah? Wind up until you give me that. Then if you a little bit of weight or a little bit of assistance from your arms, you should be able to hold it. From there, give me one big turn off. That's your gear. Boom, 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 boom. Easy jog. Reach down. That one big turn that we took off, I want it back on. We're coming for an easy pose. Gear on, easy pose. Boom, 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 boom. We're about to push and pull your upper body is about to completely take over. Your legs, they just hold you up. Upstairs does the work. One big turn, put it on, go. Boom, boom, boom. Lots of rotation, ha! Halfway, 15. Keep it upstairs. Four, three, two, hold. One big turn. Take it off. Pull through the bars to give your legs a bit of a break, yeah? Build momentum. Boom, boom, boom. We're about to run. There's still lots of weight through your legs. Let's go. Your body weight shifts right to left. Right, left, right, left. Your feet are a mirror image to mine. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Keep running. We keep on running around together.
15 seconds, then we push and pull. But first, that big gear, it comes back on. Your next wind is the biggest gear that you come to for this session. Ready, gear, on, push, pull. Ha, hey. This is a 60 second round upstairs. 15 down, 45 to go. Your next track is a recovery track. So give it all to me now. Halfway, 30 seconds. Go, go, go. <sighs> Rotation. Try not to force down through your legs. Let your arms push and pull. 15 to go. We've got a super slow walk at the end. 10. 4. 3. Do not touch your gears. Do not touch your gears. Walk. See how hard this is? I can barely move my legs without the poles. Ready? Build. So use the poles to build. Once you've built the pace, I want you to jog. Now this should be hard. Remember, momentum is key. 30 seconds left of running. You've got one more set on the poles, one more. It's a 45 second round, and then your workout is over. Your express workout is done after the next set. 15 seconds left here. Can you give me a little bit more? Only you know. I can't tell, you can. Ready, gear, on, push and pull. Ha! Hey! I want whatever you've got left. The only way out of this workout is to finish this set. It's you and me to the top together. Global Group Fitness. There's a reason you push play. This is it. 15 seconds left. <sighs> 10 seconds. Four, three, two, hold. Whew. You should be breathless, absolutely breathless. Wind all the way down. Take your gears almost off, almost off. Grab the beat. Don't slump over, don't hope for the best. Right now, we train your recovery. The legs are easy, you've got the beat. Stay with me. Tall posture, make sure you've got your balance, we're about to let go. Open your chest. So squeeze your shoulder blades together behind your back. We're about to bring your heart rate right back down. Squeeze behind, spin pinch, easy jog. Breathe. So you should be really relaxed now. Your heart rate, you can feel it coming down. You're controlling your breathing. You've got tall, strong posture, so your lungs are open and your core is stable. Right shoulder, right shoulder. Pull through. You can drop your leg speed if you want. Keep walking super slow. Change sides, pull through. Same arm, push your palm towards me, bicep, forearm. So pull your fingertips back towards your body. You feel the stretch, 
you have to fire your arm trying to it. Same arm, fingertips go straight down your spine for a tricep. Change sides. We've got 60 seconds to bring your heart rate all the way down. Nice and easy. Let's jog. So this is Body Stride. Remember, Global Group Fitness updates their programs every three months. But we release a new program every week. We've got 16 to 17 programs coming. So over the next 16 weeks, have a look at our YouTube channel. Make sure you give our channel a big thumbs up because we're never gonna charge you for our workouts. We're passionate about getting you fit. We're passionate about showing you what we're made of. And all we want from you is for you to hit that subscribe button, give each video a thumbs up that you work out to because we want to know if you've worked out to it. And comment below. Ask us anything and I, or the other instructors, will personally get back to you. Good, drop your pace all the way off. Step off your machine. Just careful before you let go. Give your toes a wheel, give your legs a shake. We're gonna come straight into a quad stretch. Right leg, knees together, pull it up behind. So I want your pelvis forward and minimize how much you hang onto your machine. Don't grab onto it and put all your weight through it. Just a little bit so you can stabilize and build strong balance and a strong core. Push your shoelaces into your palm, change sides, pelvis forward. No weight if you can, but don't fall over. Looking good, we're gonna come into a hamstring stretch. Your left leg opposite to me, heel forward, weight above the opposite knee. So sit down low, pull your toes back towards your chest and your weight is above the opposite leg. Ready to change sides. Step it in, weight changes, other leg goes out. So you should feel the stretch under your leg through your hamstring. And you've got a tall, strong back. I don't want you hunched. Posture is important, even when you stretch. Come up tall, glute stretch, right leg, across your knee, ankle, sit down, and then push through your knee. Try not to tip over into it. Come up tall, keep a strong torso. Hold the stretch. Come up, change sides. Down, push, and straighten. Hold the stretch. Next stretch, ITB. Leg goes behind, tip, push your hip out, and stretch up tall. Change sides, out, hip, and tip. Reach through a little bit longer. Let's go. Push that hip out to the side. Your next stretch is your last stretch, second last stretch. Come anywhere onto the frame of your machine for a calf stretch. Heel lean nice and close, lock your knee out and bring your torso forward. I want you to sink all your weight through your calf and then pull your toes back towards your chest. So dig your heel into the ground. Looking good. Step in, chain sides. Body stride number one. You should be beat. You should be exhausted at the end of the workout. If you're in a warm environment like I am, you should be sweating. Last stretch. Give your legs a shake. Anywhere. On your frame, it can be the pole, it can be the frame. I want you to walk back, I want you onto your tippy toes, I want you to drop your chin, hunch your spine up, and push your back towards the sky. Global Group Fitness, body stride number one. I'm Lincoln Stewart. Thank you for working out with me. I'm glad that you have committed to be fit and I'm gonna see you for one of the other programs. Thank you. Well done and thanks for working out with Global Group Fitness. Please don't forget to press that subscribe button to support our channel. 
We have 17 different fitness programs for you to choose from and our workouts will be uploaded on a regular basis so that you've got plenty of fresh content to keep you motivated. If you commit to be fit, Global Group Fitness will help you live longer and healthier.